Hello, you may have seen my previous video when I installed the latest Alpine Halo 11 F115D. A month later, what do I think? Does it look any good in the T6? Let's go and have a look. If you did see the first video, um, well, if you haven't, I'll drop a link at the end to this one so you can see that. You will have seen that Apple CarPlay wasn't working. However, it is now. The problem which we had with Apple CarPlay was actually down to Apple themselves. Uh, they had a fault their end, uh, which was actually rectified overnight. So I spent eight hours trying to get, actually get this thing working. Just obviously wouldn't work. Got up the next morning, get on the vehicle, driving to work. Popped up immediately. Would you believe it? Couldn't believe it. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry, but there it is. So let's, uh, let's have a look at it. So this Apple CarPlay it works wirelessly. Uh, so there's no need to collect, connect a cable like you used to do um, in the previous series, the Halo uh, 903 and 904. Uh, there is an option to connect it by cable if you so wish, but when you can connect it wirelessly, then you don't need to, obviously, unless you need to charge. The USB can play music, video, uh, if selected from the main screen here. And I've not actually got anything connected, so it won't work. But if I did have something, then it plays videos, music, what have you. And it does actually work really well. So if you don't want to be listening to uh, USB, you've got the radio app. So <clears throat> radio, you've got DAB, you've got FM, AM, and you've got some channels stored in there. And this works really well. If you don't have an aftermarket DAB antenna, then I definitely strongly suggest you get one. Uh, I've got a shark fin fitted to this, which I got from Wired Campers, uh, based in Tor Bay. And that's the device which does your DAB, your FM, AM, and also GPS. Uh, but GPS has already got a receiver for this unit, which is easily plug and play. Uh, and I've just got that on the dash, so I haven't used that from Wired Campers. But I do have the DAB antenna, and you can see a big difference. So now I've got Apple CarPlay working. It's great for sat nav. One of the things which I wanted this year head unit for was the sat navs and you've got different options. So here you've got Waze, I've got Apple Maps and I've got uh, Google Maps and here we go Maps. So I do actually have a choice of four there. However, the voices which you get on Waze, my daughter absolutely loves them get like 90s uh, DJ, 80s aerobics instructor or something like that and they just shout out silly things when you get to speed cameras and things like that so she, yeah, she, she's absolutely in hysterics when that happens so keep changing that and it keeps her happy so cannot complain. At the roundabout, take the first exit. My first single was exit. My next single was fire escape. I'm inspired by signs. Fantastic podcasts. I can come on here and I can listen to my favourite podcast. So I like Behind the Glass. If you haven't seen uh, Sam from Behind the Glass, he's got two uh, YouTube channels, Behind the Glass and Seen Through Glass. Really, really good uh, channels if you're into cars. So that's uh, one of the, the benefits. If I'm on longer journeys, I do tend to listen to audiobooks. Uh, so on audiobooks, I actually have an app which is called Audible. So Audible is a, an Amazon product and it's really good. You pay a membership, I think it's $7.99 a month and you get at least one free audio book a month. Uh, I do actually have a link to this. If you go into the description of this video, there is a link there which will give you a, three, a free 30 day trial, I think it is, and you'll actually get one free audio book. If you're a Prime member, you will actually get two within that 30 day trial period. Uh, cancel before the 30 days is out if you're not interested in it but you do get a free audio book and I love it. Uh, so on here at the moment, I've got, you know, <laughs> Henry Blofeld, you know, if you're into your cricket, absolutely hilarious. Uh, Paddy McGuinness, John Bishop. There's books for all sorts of tastes, whatever your tastes are, they're on there. So on a longer journey, I do like to listen to the audio books because it's, it, it, you've got more time to do it. If I'm on a shorter journey, just 10, 15 minutes, you can't really get into it. But if you're on the longer journey, an hour, two hours plus, then you can really get into the book uh, and it's it's just something which I personally enjoy doing. So obviously uh, the Apple uh, CarPlay is pretty much standard uh, to whatever head unit you have. The benefit of this is obviously the large screen. Uh, I like the, the Ringo app which you can have on here. 
uh, because it means when you get to a car park then you can just pop open that app pay for your parking before you get out of the vehicle and off you go and then it works the same way as a, the, if you'd booked it on your, your mobile phone but it's just easy just to do it on the head unit before you get out so i won't go too much into carplay because you hopefully all know what that is uh, the sound quality of this unit is absolutely first class the improvement is huge uh, i have installed aftermarket speakers i've got focal uh, speakers with tweeters and the speakers in the door card done that install i've not actually uploaded that video yet i will get around to putting that one on there and also a focal ibuzz amp which i've got in the under the the rear bench seat in here but the speakers with the original head unit yes they sounded better but they didn't sound too great you know i was actually a little bit disappointed but I was told that the, the new head unit will make a big difference. So with this new head unit installed, it has made a massive difference. So on here, uh, this is the what is actually quite an interesting screen as far as the sound's concerned. You've got your battery voltage here. So I've got this connected to the starter battery. And I've got my balance fader, balance, etc. I've got EQ settings. So on here, I've actually got a 56 band parametric equalizer, um, two digital crossovers, six channel digital time correction, uh, base engine SQ, uh, media expander. So that's kind of all in here and I can choose as I so wish to my personal preferences as I, as I want to do it. Uh, it is high res audio certified, so it will play back media at the highest possible quality. From a usb so if you've got a usb which has got high quality music on it and you play that back it, this unit is capable of playing it to that, that top quality level the reason why this head unit was so much better with the speakers which i actually installed was because it's actually got a class leading uh, class d 4x50 amp into it so that's actually driving the speakers which I've got now. So most amps don't have that high high standard. So it is pushing more power to it. And instantly I noticed it even before I connected the, the iBuzz uh, amp because obviously the iBuzz amp does power the front speakers as well as the, the small sub which it is. Um, but you'd notice that difference immediately. So the, the actual quality of the sound from this unit, top class, it really, really is. When I installed this, I used the Alpine connection module. Uh, if you're connecting other head units, I was originally going to be getting the Kenwood 9210, I think it was, and then this was new technology. So I thought, yes, this is the one, this is the one I'm going to get. Uh, so I got the Connect 2, which you might have heard of, which is, is an interface for making sure you've still got your steering controls. But if you use the actual proper Alpine one, it retains everything so on the mfd display obviously on the dashboard in front of me here um i can see everything as far as the, the music's concerned phone calls coming in it also utilizes the parking sensors so if i uh put the parking sensors on there you can actually see on the screen there that the uh at the front of the vehicle there's something in the front at the rear um there's nothing there at the moment but it also utilizes the rear view camera so if I pop it in reverse, I can actually see what's out the back of it. So as you can see there, I've just had a barbecue tonight. It would have been lovely, but it's actually raining now, so not so lovely. But it, it retains the, the steering wheel controls, which is really, really important. Uh, so you've got your volume up and down, skipping tracks and things like that. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really pleased with that. One of the main reasons for buying this device and previously when I was looking at the Kenwood was the HD display. Uh, this particular display is a 1280 by 720 HD uh, WXJ, uh, it is. It's crystal clear. Uh, if I can go in here, I have HDMI connected and this is a video which is playing via the PlayStation because uh, I've got the PlayStation app on here. And this is actually Ghostbusters Afterlife, which I've just found out has obviously come to Sky Cinema. Loved the first Ghostbusters, so I am actually going to be watching this one. This is on live now. And 
but I've got the Sky app so I can actually go in here and I can be watching any of these films and the quality of it is really crystal clear. You're probably not going to be able to get a sense of what it actually looks like via this but it is a really, really crystal clear display. Now, it's got HDMI input, but it's also got HDMI output. So the plan is I'm going to have a projector in the rear. So if I am at a site, uh, I'm parked up or something, it's the World Cup or the Euros are on and something, and I want to watch football, kind of a nice big projector screen, HDMI out from this to the screen, and we'll be able to actually utilize the, the quality sound system from in here uh, to actually have the sound and the big screen as well. So it's something which uh, I think is a really, really good feature and something which um, it was something which I was definitely wanting. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just a, a PlayStation. So you've obviously got your, your Sky app on there, um, but I've also got anything else. So I can be playing games I don't actually really know how to use a PlayStation. Ah, oh, there we go. So I've got the games. Um, you've got your Netflix, your Prime. It, it's just all there. Anything which you you know you want to be doing, it's it's there. So the screen itself is extremely responsive. So obviously it's a, a touch screen, uh, so you can touch in and out of things. Uh, I'll go into CarPlay to demonstrate this, and you know you just swipe across the screen and it moves and it's really, really intuitive. I just, I can't fault it. I genuinely love the device. I think it's, it's brilliant. So let's talk about the size. So obviously the previous one, which a lot of people have is the Halo 9, uh, the 903 or the 904, which I think the 904 included sat nav. They have brought replacement of that out now, which also utilizes this high quality screen Apple uh, wireless CarPlay, etc. But I wanted to go for the best one, so I went for the 11 inch one. Now, I thought, is it going to be too big? It isn't. I mean, it, it's really adjustable, so you can adjust about, adjust the angle of it, you can adjust the height of it. Now, I've got this set on the, the lowest setting, so it actually sits relatively low down on the dash. Um, but I didn't want it protruding kind of high up here like you know some of them do. But it doesn't block anything. I mean, it's low down there, and it it is not actually in anything way. You know, I can get in access into the the top pocket there, no problem at all. All my controls here are clearly visible. The vents, you know, they're not hindered in any way at all. It's it's just a really good fit. Really pleased with it. I love the device, absolutely love it. It's so pleased that I actually waited for it because I had considered going for some of the, the smaller screens that kind of just a direct replacement in the dash, some of the cheaper Chinese ones or, but I waited and I am so pleased I did because it is an absolutely quality unit. The sound quality of it, the display, just everything about it, I really, really like. I will bring out the video of the uh, the speaker install and the amp uh, at, a, at a later date. I don't know why I've not done it yet. I will get those out there uh, so you can see what speakers I've got and the amp which I've got in there because it does sound really good. Uh, I can play something via the USB, not the USB, the, I uh, don't know what you call it, uh, Bluetooth audio. Bluetooth audio because it's not just CarPlay, it's Bluetooth audio. Uh I don't know why I'm doing that because you're not actually going to get a gist of what it sounds like because you won't get that quality but I can assure you it is uh, it's brilliant so should you get one for yours that's your choice uh, I can highly recommend it that's absolutely for sure uh, whether you want to spend this much on a unit or not, I don't know, but it is definitely well worth the money. If you haven't seen the install video of it, you can see that here. Uh, and at a later date, I will put the amp and speakers here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. That will be great. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.